Um, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little rant slash chat. Sassy, aren't I? Also, I never wear my hair in a ponytail. So, well I do in real life, just never in my videos because I look, have a six head with a ponytail. So yeah, but I thought I'd just wear one today. Anyway, today's a bit of a rant and a chat about people, about, it's about makeup, but it's like, I'm basically talking about Makeup has no age, gender, or race, or colour. So it's, uh, it's going to be a little cheeky run. Also, before I start, make sure to go and subscribe because if you like my content and me and Katie's content, we do beauty videos, lifestyle vlogs. Trust me, you will like us, so just subscribe. Does that sound vain? I don't know. But yeah, um, I don't always do rants. I'm not a horrible person. I. I just have strong opinions and beliefs. As lot of my family know, I like to rant about things if I have strong opinions about them. So, the first of all, I want to say makeup has no label. Does my, does that my, let me just grab a product. Oh, I just grab this. Does this Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Glow Kit say on the front, this is to be only to be used by 18 year olds? Does it say this is only to be used by women? Does it? Does it say, does, is this still need to be used by white people? No, it doesn't. It says, Anastasia, Beverly Hills, Moonchild. Oh, and on the back, it just says the ingredients. And it's cruelty free. Along with all my other products, they do not say at all on them what age you should be, what race or colour you should be, and what gender you should be. So why do people think, think we can't use it? As in we, I mean, not me. Well, actually, I, I've i had problems with the first one. Obviously, I have i don't have problems with gender or colour. It's just my age I've always had problems with because I have been wearing makeup since I was eight years old and that is extremely young, I know. I didn't wear it properly until I was about 10, like, actually properly. I used to just, like, wear it a bit when I was eight, not, like, foundation. I used to, like, lip gloss and eyeshadow and stuff. You know, what used to do, the Claire's and MUA focus. Yeah. I was told a lot when I was younger, oh why is she wearing makeup? She's too young. Am I too young? Does my does my Too Faced Love Luck highlighter over there? Does it say I'm not allowed to use it because I'm ten. Does it say that? Does it say that? No, it doesn't say that, does it? If people seriously have that much of a problem about my age, then just don't look at me. Don't look at me if you don't think you wanna look at me because I'm wearing makeup and I'm eight or nine or ten or any age really. Some people think twelve some people think like 14 is too young and, and 12, 13, 14, 11 is too young. It's not. Wear makeup when you're one. Well, don't, I think that's taking it a bit too far. But I mean, like wear makeup whenever. You can, it's like, makeup is a hobby and it's like saying you can't do, start piano until you're 11. You can. Piano people do it when they're like six and stuff. Why couldn't you do makeup when you're six? Also, I have I signed up to some survey online surveys trying to earn me money. At least none of them have worked. And I and I came across this thing the other day, and it was like, um, do you think thirty um, twelve is a good age to let your kid wear makeup? And everyone was like, no, 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 no. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. And I was like, twelve? Yeah. Yes. Yes, they can. They can stop wearing makeup whenever they want because it's their choice and if their parent like if you're a parent fair enough if you don't let your kid wear makeup because you don't I, I can understand where they're coming from I'm not a parent but I can understand where you're coming from because it's your kid grown up but it's not really is it just have my makeup my mum she used to when I used, when I first used to wear it she was like um she was a bit, just a bit like, oh, you look better without it and stuff. But now I've now I've taught her to tell me I look better with it. Because that's what I like. And, um, hang on, I just need to tell her what video I'm filming. Otherwise, she's going to think I'm really weird. I'm filming a video! Mate, you there? Okay, well, she doesn't care, so there's no point telling her. Yeah, and um, a lot of people... Also, the, um, not the other day, a couple, about a year ago, um, and I'm not that young, obviously, person, she was like, she was talking to my mum and she went, 
oh she got that makeup on is she a bit too young and she knows how old i am i just stood my mum was like <laughs> she's been wearing it since she was 10. and i just stood there and i was like love lovey dovey yes i am i'm wearing that makeup i am wearing that makeup yes anyway that's what i have to say about age also i was watching this girl's makeup collection i'm not sure what she was called but um oh she was so cute i think it was like called 10 year old makeup collection and she had quite a big collection for 10 year old and people were being so horrible to her i went through and replied to half of them saying what's the matter with you she's 10 she can have as much makeup as she wants and they were like um oh she's 10 she shouldn't have that much makeup why not why not have that much makeup anyway next thing going on to is gender now i don't have as much to say about this because i obviously i have i just haven't got as much to say about this but um obviously being a woman women uh what is the acceptable gender to wear makeup so like i've never had a problem because i am i'm a girl i'm a woman but it's, i think it's the man basically men and obviously if you're if you're like mixed gender or what do they call it oh, i don't know i'm really sorry if any of you are this it's like if you're if you're a mix of i don't know i'm so sorry if you're both i'm not sure honestly i'm so sorry i don't know what you call it but i'm just gonna but men okay so you don't see many men shopping for makeup because they're bloody embarrassed because people the society's made them feel embarrassed made them feel like they should be shopping for makeup because they're they're a man and not a woman but why why the only thing different between us is he has a penis and i have a vagina what's the difference he can wear makeup if he wants also i know a lot of people um when they see a, a man wear makeup it doesn't mean they are gay obviously obviously it can mean they're gay but people instantly think a man wearing makeup means gay sometimes it doesn't sometimes men can wear makeup and they don't aren't gay yeah and what was it was some brat there was going to be these counters i'm not sure where i don't know where i got this information from well i do know there was going to be a separate counter for men to buy makeup from and everyone was like that's so cute and i was thinking no 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 men shouldn't just have their own makeup brand just for men men should be able to shop in l'oreal dior any makeup brand and it should be accepted for that and that just annoys me and also the last thing we're going to be talking about is colour slash race i think especially mac oh yeah mac are very rude if you're if you're really young or you're um dark skin toned they don't really want you to be in there i've had a lot of experiences of that and it just puts me off of mac and it's just like because i'm young to, well i'm not that young but to them i'm young because i but the thing is i buy things in there because i have money i save up my own money i can i'm looking at things right now and i can see two matte lipstick they walk in there and think you're not going to buy anything and also yeah anyway back to race now there's this thing called like in foundations 30 shades of beige which is true do companies i'm not talking about all companies just some companies think darker skin tones don't exist they just want to make bloody 30 shades of white and beige and it's like these people exist they make one dark skin tone color and that's it like us there's there's going to be 30 shades of beiges but there's also also 30 shades of dark skin of dark skin so why can't they make the 30 shades of that as well why not because they're as equal as us to buy the makeup and they are as they're most likely as well going to on the same level as buying makeup as us D just because they're a different color doesn't mean they can't buy makeup does that say it on my thing no it doesn't say that on my thing does it I'm just, also eyeshadow palettes so age back to age as well i keep jumping and like jumping over age i was talking about younger but also older no no sorry ignore that eyeshadow palettes right let me just grab my eyeshadow palette the closest one to me is this one modern renaissance 
my ad, most eyeshadow palettes are like this, not just this palette, not all palettes. What shades in there could really go on dark skin tones? Not that many. Not that many, literally. Not that many. I, I feel, I just, it annoys me. It's everything really. It's just contours. They think, they, and when they do like to make contour shades and eyeshadows, and foundations for dark skin people, they like to make them grey. And they're not grey. No one's then people dark skin tones aren't grey. Okay? Anyway, now back to age. I talked about younger, younger people not being accepted to wear makeup, and not older people as well. I was just like 80 year old, she must have been 80, something like that. She was really old. She had like a walking stick and she had all her eyelashes done and her like makeup and I thought, I thought, bless you. Bless your little cotton so socks. You walk into, you walk right into Mac, and you show them. Yeah, and like, wear it whenever you want. Wear it age four, wear it age seven, 13, 18, 32, or even 100, if you really want. And I just thought I'd do this little rant video. I love, I love rant videos. Not, like, they're not rant rant videos. It's just like, standing up video. I'm not sure I'm going to call this, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe because, yeah, we upload just quite nice videos every day. Come back for a new video every day. And I promise you, I promise you, you'll like it when you subscribe. Yeah, I love you all. And comment and like on my video. Bye.